And finally, and probably the most pragmatic of my proposals for reform, is that there needs to be a pushback against this politicisation. And that pushback can occur through something called linkage. Global North countries can turn to swing states, states like Brazil, India and South Africa, states that four or five years ago were really pushing for things like LGBT rights at the Human Rights Council, were pushing to protect human rights defenders, were pushing for resolutions on reprisals. Those countries have moved to the other side. They have taken backward steps. And it is those countries that we need to get on board. We need to use linkage, whether it's trade, we need to use political pressure, moral persuasion to bring those countries back on side. Because it was South Africa that originally sponsored the LGBT, LGBT panel in 2011. And yet, if we look at what South Africa has done over the last few years at the Council, it's pretty awful. India used to be at the fore of voting for and sponsoring positive resolutions at the Council. And yet India was one of the countries, you're giving me a funny look. No, <laughs> India was one of the countries that tried to block the list of mandate holders a couple of weeks ago. These are the states that we need to get on side because these are the swing states that can be good guys and can join the fight to have proper protection and promotion at the Human Rights Council.